Welcome everyone. My name is Susan and we're going to have a nice little 30 minute chair yoga class. All right. I want you to be comfortable on your chair. Um, I always like to try and find uh, just a wooden chair, something that's fairly stable. All right, with the back. All right. Now, just going through the breathing. We always start the class with a couple minutes of pranayama. Prana is breath or life force. Pranayama is breath control. In through the nose, out through the nose. Try and relax. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Right. So today for our pranayama, I want you to sit nice and tall. Actually, I'd like you to lean back in your chair. So let's just relax before we get going, all right? Lean back in your chair. We always uh, choose a different mudra. Today we're going to practice our chin mudra. So I'd like you to take your index finger and your thumb, roll the first joint into the joint of the thumb. Nice and loose. Three fingers together, palm up. Now sit back, relax the shoulders, close your eyes. Chin mudra helps to cultivate consciousness, finding increased stability and inner sanctuary. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together. Close your eyes, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Breathe. Continue on your own personal pranayama for the next two minutes. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Inhale completely. Always try and suspend your breath just for a few seconds and then exhale completely. Now's the time to drop your day and settle your mind, to set an intention for your practice today. Focus on any situation in your life that needs guidance from your higher self. It's time to lower the heart rate, lower our blood pressure, and lower our anxiety level. Try to find stillness in mind and body. One more breath. And on the next exhale, let's bring ourselves out of our pranayama. Let's bring our hands together. Now at this point, I'd like you to sit nice and tall in your chair. So let's really be aware of our posture, right? Now your ankles and your feet, your knees, everything is nice and relaxed. Make sure the knees and ankles are nice and lined up. So just relax your legs and let's rub our hands vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands onto your heart center. Close your eyes. Take a nice, long, smooth breath. One more, big breath, really try and relax, fill those lungs. And on the next exhale, I'd like you to drop three fingers, keep the index fingers together, preparing for Jupiter Mudra. Now before we go any further, I want you to remember, do what you can, if it doesn't feel good, if it's gonna aggravate a condition or cause you any pain, please don't feel like you have to do it. All right, I'm gonna show you a posture shortly called the Mountain Pose that you can go to any time just to relax, if you have to stop for whatever reason. But try to keep the breath going, just relax. Listen to your body, all right? Don't force your body to do anything, all right? So, let's prepare for Jupiter Mudra. Take a big breath, and on the exhale, if you can, let's see if we can come all the way up. If this is gonna bother your shoulders or your arms, you can bring your arms down, put them anywhere, even if you wanna keep them here, it doesn't matter, all right? And uh, we always have room to make little adjustments in everything you do. Breathing into Jupiter Mudra, reach up. Let's really get a nice lengthening of the spine. Sitting nice and tall in the sit bones. Let's wake up the physical body. Let's wake up that spine. Breathing into Jupiter Mudra, which is good luck and expansion are activated. When together, focus your energies on breaking through barriers for one more breath. On the exhale, release the hands. If you can, inhale into a gentle back bend. If you can't, just reach up. One more breath. On the exhale, bring the arms down slow and gentle with the shoulders, right onto your knee. Now we're gonna do a forward fold from here. With your straight spine, take your breath. On the exhale, I want you to slide your hands down the side of your leg, bow your head around your back. You don't have to go far, just go down a little bit. And this is starting to lengthen the spine, starting to release the shoulders, stretch the muscles up and down your back, all the way down to the lower back as well. Forward fold, on the exhale, come up. All the way up, very slowly. Remove very gently, you move your body carefully. All right, roll the shoulders out gently, just roll them out. 
Now I want you to really pay attention to the breath. Every breath you take, the whole time we're together, is the same. It's long and it's smooth. So I will try and cue you on your breathing when I say on the exhale or on the next exhale. All right? You can't necessarily follow my breath. So let's do a nice little stretch. Let's release that upper back again. So let's inhale up. Exhale. Lace the fingers together if you can. Palms out. Now, try to have them shoulder height. If, like, again, this is bothering your shoulders, you can come down a little bit lower if that feels better for you. All right, and on the exhale, I want you to reach. I'm going to lower them a little bit so uh, you can see what I'm doing here. And keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep your back straight. Let's really get a stretch into the upper back, the shoulders, the shoulder blade for one more breath. On the exhale, release the hands slowly, just bring them down, let them go, bring them down, all right? Now I want you to hold on to the side of the chair gently. So this particular one here, we're going to do the opposite. This is called the seated fish pose. So this is, we, the first, the one we just did was for the upper back, the shoulders, the shoulder blade. This one here is specifically for the front of the deltoid and for the chest, the pectorals opening up, releasing the chest muscles and the ribs as well. Holding on very gently to the side of the chair with a straight spine, take your breath. On the exhale, bring the shoulders up, bring them back, slide them down, shoulder blades together. Gently bring the chest out, breathe. If you can, on the exhale, you can bring your shoulder blades together a little bit more or release them a bit if you need to, focusing on opening up the chest. This is really going to help you with your posture. Releasing the, the, um, the tight ribs and opening up your heart center. On the next exhale, bring the shoulders up, forward and down. That feels so good. All right, hands on the lap, roll them out. Roll the shoulders up. Get a little more movement if you can. Really release it. Start working on releasing the tension in the shoulders and releasing the stress as well. As well. All right. Perfect. All right. Now I want you to have the left hand, just let it hang down. All right, let me show you quickly, and then I'll give you a couple ways to do this one here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, and I'm going to lean slightly to the left, okay? Now, if, again, this is going to aggravate your shoulders, it's really not a good thing for you, put your hand on your hip a little bit, and just do this, all right? What we really want to do is just lengthen the side of the body, the right side, okay? So the left arm, just let it hang. Now make sure that you're sitting nice and tall. When you bring your arm up, or even if you keep your hand on your hip, make sure that everything is lined up. The arm is lined up to the head, to the side of the body. So try not to be twisted forward or leaning back, all right? Alignment is very important, all right? So if you're ready, let's go. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale. Either just stay right here. If you can, you can lean over a little bit if you're a little bit more flexible. Spread those fingers like rays of sunshine. Make sure that you're nice and anchored to your seat. Let it go. Let your breath guide you. On the exhale, come up. This is also going to work and engage your core muscles, your obliques as well. Let's try the other side. Let the right arm hang down. Let's go. Inhale up. Try to relax the shoulder. Always come back to the sensations of the breath. Exhale. Perfect. And down. All right. Hands on the lap. Roll the shoulders out. Now, this is the posture I want to show you. This is called the mountain or tatizana. Now, just sitting nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Just let your arms hang. Just let gravity drag those arms down. This is your mountain pose. So this is a place you can come to any time during the class. You know, if there's something that you're not really too sure on or if it's going to, like I said, aggravate a condition or cause you any, just any pain or anything, come here and you can wait till the next posture that works for you or hey, stay here as long as you like, but keep the breath going. It's all about the breathing. It's not about performance. It's about integrating mind, body through breath awareness. All right, so this is mountain. One more breath. And on the exhale, hands on the back. All right. So let's do a nice gentle neck exercise. All right. So take your breath. On the exhale, all I want you to do is just tilt your head, look up to the ceiling. Relax, breathe. Releasing the throat, the front of the neck. 
One more breath. On the next exhale, bring your head to neutral position, preparing to bow our head on the next exhale. Exhale. Keep your back straight, you're just bowing your head, so you can just curl your little bit of your upper spine. Arms are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, breathe. Close your eyes if that helps you. Bring yourself into the moment if it helps you. Really relax, close your, breath. close your eyes. Open them up once in a while, of course, see what I'm doing. On the next exhale, bring your head up to neutral position. All right, let's do a shoulder shrug now. Take your breath. On the exhale, I want you to bring the shoulders up and I want you to hug your ears with your shoulders. Bring them up as high and as tight as you can and hold it. This is a nice, quick, easy way to release the tension into the shoulders and to the upper back. This you can do any time during the day. Big shoulder shrug. One more breath. On the exhale, come down all the way. Let it go. You can feel the tension just melting away. And let's roll them out. Now, you, if you can, you get a little bit more movement. Roll them forward and back. And if you find you're a little tight, you know, just roll them a little bit. Do what you can. Listen to your body. Always, always. I don't know your body, so you have to do what feels best for you. All right? Perfect. All right. So, so now that we're nice and warmed up, we're going to do a nice, uh, just a quick version of, uh, one version of sun salutation from here, okay? So I want you to bring your arms down. Into mountain, breathe. One more breath. On the exhale, bring your hands into Namaste Prayer Pose. Stay here, breathe. Back is straight, shoulders are relaxed. On the next exhale, bring the arms up. Inhale into a back bend. One more breath. Exhale, forward fold, hands on the knee. Big breath. Exhale, slide the hands down, bow your head, round your spine. Bring yourself right into the moment. Be present right here, right now, where nothing matters but how you feel right now in this moment, where you are, what you're doing, your breath. On the exhale, come up all the way. Arms to the side. Inhale, right knee up. Hold it. Breathe. Engaging the quads, the thighs, the buttocks, pelvic floor muscles. Exhale down. Left leg, inhale up. One more breath. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale back. Preparing for forward fold on the next exhale. Exhale down. Exhale down even further. One more breath. Exhale up. Let the arms hang. Right knee off the floor, right foot off the floor. Inhale up. Just get it off the floor. Doesn't matter how high, the higher you go, the deeper the stretch you're going to feel. This is also going into the hip flexors as well. One more breath, prepare to go to the other side. Exhale down. Inhale, left one up. Your back is straight, the breath is flowing, your shoulders are relaxed. Breathe, one more. Exhale down, inhale, hands in the prayer pose, your back is straight. And this is one version of our sun salutation. Suryar Namaskar. Exhale, hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out. Perfect, all right. Now from here, I'd like you to reach out with both hands, both arms. So bring them down a little lower, we're not gonna worry about the foot, the shoulder, we're gonna worry. Focus on the forearm, wrist, hands, and fingers. So I want you to spread your fingers out, bend at the wrist, slightly turn out to the baby finger. Breathe. Back is straight, shoulders are nice and loose. Breath is flowing. On the exhale, straighten the hand, bring it up. 
right hand, I want you to take the top of the left fingers and gently bring the fingers back, slowly, gently. Like I said, be very careful, moving your body slowly. On the exhale, release, let's go to the other side. So what this is doing here, stretching the hand, but the flexor muscles along the bottom. All right. And on the exhale, release. And the hands up, let's work those fingers. So I want you to put your hands like this. I'm going to show you quickly, and then we'll do it together. So I'll do a quick little demo. What we're going to do here is we're going to really work all the joints of the fingers. So let's wake those fingers up. So we're going to start with folding at the first knuckle, and then the next one, and then into a loose fist. Now, with your thumb, when we're doing this, you can do it with your thumb as well. Move your thumb around, okay? So let's try it together. Now sit tall, relax the shoulders. Now pay attention to how your legs feel as well the whole time we're doing this. Your feet are nice and anchored to the floor. Knees and ankles are nice and lined up. So the legs are completely relaxed. Let's go back to the hands. Now, big breath. Exhale, fold. Just do what you can with your fingers. And on the exhale, just like that. Exhale, loose fist, wrap your thumb around your fingers. And then we'll work our way back up. Exhale. So just getting a little movement, starting to articulate, loosen up those tight fingers, and exhale. Decompressing the tight muscles, the nerves, and the blood vessels, exactly what we do for every move we make, and then open. Now I want you to stretch them out, spread them out, really feel the lengthening of the fingers, the releasing of the palm of the hand. And then I want you just to relax, just let your fingers, just let them relax, let your uh, wrist go limp, and I want you to shake them out, shake those hands out releasing the tension in the hands and the fingers. And always be very gentle with your hands. I mean, a lot of people have arthritis, have stiff, tight fingers, so it's so important to keep them moving. But do what you can always, all right? And hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out. All right, so now we're going to work our way down slowly. So, but let's work our spine a little bit. So from here, we're gonna work on a gentle twist pose, all right? So this is just working the spine. So. I'm going to turn my chair a little bit so I can show you uh, a one version. All right, just a little bit here. Now, comfortable on your chair. All right, so this is focusing on flexibility of the spine. So, left hand on the right knee. All right, now, and I want you just to hold on to the back of the chair. Just a little handle here. All right, so what we're going to do here is you're just going to gently look over the right shoulder. Your back is straight, shoulders are relaxed. All right. Now be very careful and gentle with your spine. If you have issues with your spine, don't torque your back. Even if you move a little bit, that's fine. All right? It's not a race or a contest. All right? So hold on. Big breath. On the exhale, gently look over the right shoulder. Now, if you find that you need a deeper stretch or you want one, on the exhale, you can push on the knee a little bit to the left and you'll go a little further. If you find this is too intense, back up, come out, all right? Now, we're keeping our spine nice and flexible and agile and supple, releasing the nerves, the blood vessels, the muscles up and down the spine for one more breath. Exhale, come back to center. Counter pose, let's go to the other side. Just reposition my chair here for you. Right hand on left knee, left hand onto the little handle. Big breath on the exhale. Keep your back nice and straight. Like I said, you don't have to go very far. So I don't want you to feel that all the stretches, the moves we do, you really have to, you know, be intense about it. Because maybe there's some positions that you can go a little further. Some, you know, it's not, you're not too sure. You're a little tighter or not as flexible or for whatever reason. You know, even if you move a little bit, even like I said, it doesn't matter. It's all about the breath. And wherever you are is where you're supposed to be. And as you get out in your practice, you find maybe you'll go a little further. Maybe things will loosen up. Okay? On the exhale, come back to center. And roll the shoulders up. Let's do one more for our spine. Let's do another one called the cat and cow. So this one here is really nice for, like I said, lengthening the spine, but also for your lower back. So here again, I'm going to hold on to the side of the chair. I'm just going to go sideways a little bit. So you can uh, get a little bit more um, of an idea of what I'm doing. I'll do a quick little demo and then we'll see what we can do together. So holding onto the chair lightly, I'm gonna inhale up, 
So I'm going to look up to the ceiling and I want a little bit of a C-scoop spine to bring the chest out. And then when you exhale, now you can bow your head, arch your back and round your shoulders. So you're going to complete movement of your spine. All right, so let's see what we can do. Like I said, take it easy. Holding on very gently, loosely I should say. Preparing for cat and cow. Let's go. Inhale up. Exhale. Follow the breath. Keep going. Inhale up. When you come up into your cow, you get a stretch into your chest. You get a stretch into your abdominals, into your belly. And when you get into your little cat, you're lengthening the spine, releasing upper back, and a wonderful stretch for your lower back. Let's do one more. Up. Inhale. And then from here, bring yourself up very slowly, so you don't get dizzy, of course. All right, and back to neutral position, back to mountain, release the arms and straighten that spine and just take a couple of breaths just to relax into your mountain. All right, perfect. Now from here, let's start working some legs and ankles and feet. So if you're good, let's roll the shoulders out. All right, perfect. All right, so. Now I want you just to kind of bring your feet out a little bit, okay? So make sure you're comfortable on your chair, of course, being aware of your posture, nice and tall. Now I want you to bring your feet slightly off the floor, all right? So you don't have to have them very high, just get them off the floor. Open up your legs just a little bit. What we're going to do here is we're going to do little circles in and little circles out. So this is focusing on the ankle. So. When you're doing that, try not to wiggle your leg around. If your leg moves a little bit, not a big deal, but I don't want your leg whipping all over the place, okay? So it's just rounding. So focusing on the ankle and foot, but also you're gonna engage some lovely lower leg muscles as well. So we're gonna do three in, three out. Do what you can. If you find you can only do one and that's it, stop. Let your feet come down onto the floor and just relax, but keep breathing, all right? So you can have your hands on your lap, hold on to the chair whatever you need to do get them off the floor now just getting your feet off the floor is engaging core muscles as well and your thighs so a lot of other activity going on in your body but let's focus on the ankles and the feet right now so let's go we're gonna do three in and three out so let's go inhale around exhale follow the breath big breath Always remember that if you're mindful and patient, your body will transform, but it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a while. And then we're going to go to the other direction. So like I said, yoga is not a race. It's not a contest. It's a journey. There's no destination. It's something you can do for the rest of your life. And relax. Just let your feet fall. Let your, your legs go limp. Arms down. And let's just breathe. Relax. Just focus on relaxing your legs. Let them go, breathe. Feeling calm. Find that little place of tranquility in your chair. A little time for yourself. All right, perfect. And let's do another one. So, same thing, I want you to bring your legs up. You're gonna bring them a little bit closer together. And all I want you to do here is I just want you to wiggle your toes around. So we're gonna play piano with the toes and we're gonna round the ankles a little more, but you can go a little faster. Now let's see if we can get the hands in there too. And let's see if we can play piano with the fingers and around the wrists. Moving a little faster if you'd like, but keep the breath going. Just move and loosen everything up. Play piano, really articulate those little toes. Get some movement, releasing all the muscles in the foot. All right, and down. Back the feet up. All right, perfect. Roll the shoulders out. All right, so let's do one more. So let's work some legs again. Now, this one here is just a simple leg lift. All right, so what we're gonna do here, you can hold on to the chair or you can hold on to your lap, is you're gonna lift it up as high as you can. If you can even get your leg right off the chair, you can. All right, and then you're gonna come down, bend the knee, and you're gonna come all the way down and you're gonna tap your toe. You're gonna do that three times, all right? Now, don't worry if you can't get your leg there all the way up too straight. Don't worry about it. Do what you can. This is going to work the quads, the hip flexors, pelvic floor muscles, 
hamstrings, your buttocks as well, into your core muscles and back muscles. All right, our legs are heavy, it takes a lot of power just to lift them up. So let's see what we can do. Roll the shoulders, relax, all right? Let's start with the right leg. If you have to keep your knee bent a little bit, that's okay as well. Let's go, inhale up. Exhale, come down. Tap your toe, again. Shoulders are completely relaxed. I want you to pay attention and focus on exactly what you're doing. Concentrate. The one part of the body you're doing it, you're working with. Again, up. Get a little fire into that thigh. Exhale down. Relax. Make sure that your ankle and knee are lined up. Let's hit this side here now. Let's go. Inhale up. Exhale down, tap your toe, keep going, up. Feeling the muscles engaging, being aware of what you're doing, up. Let's see the last time. And exhale down. Perfect, lovely, all right. And that's it for that one there. Let's do one more. I want you to scooch up in your chair now, scooch right up, and I want you to open up your legs as wide as you can. So make sure your sit bones are nice and comfortable, I want you to feel secure and safe that you're not going to slide off your chair. Open up the legs as wide as you can. If you can, have your feet into a V. If you need to, have them straight, whatever works for you, especially with your knees. Alright, so comfortable. Having your legs in this position, this wide open, is going to engage, release the inner thighs, the pelvic floor. Uh, groin muscles, your buttocks as well, all right, core muscles as well, thighs, but and releasing the hips, opening up those hips. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to do a nice little squat. So we're going to do one called the goddess. So bring the arms up. If you can, have them up shoulder height. If you're getting a little tired, bring them down. Fingers are nice and spread. What we're going to do here, let me show you quickly, is I'm going to lean forward. The lower I go, the deeper the stretch you're going to feel, all right? So you can make that little adjustment. Now make sure your back is straight, your head is level with your spine, you're hinging with the hips. So I don't want you all hunched over. Don't worry if you don't go very far. You're going to feel it right in here, which is exactly where I want you to feel it. Arms up, and this is our goddess pose. Big breath. Exhale. Breathe. One more breath. Exhale up, push yourself up. Use those nice strong legs, bring yourself up. Bring the arms down. Let's get into our child's pose now. Let's take a little rest. I need you to stay in this position a little bit longer, so make little adjustments if you have to. Now the child's pose is a resting, neutral, full body stretch. I'm gonna give you two ways to do this. Now the full version is to come here and to just hang out. If you have issues with vertigo, high or low blood pressure, or anything like that, or if you've got a head cold or that, and if this is really not going to be comfortable for you, don't worry about it, don't do it. What you can do is just bring your arms onto your, onto your thighs and just kind of look at the floor and just kind of hang out there. Just try and just let it all go, all right? So I'm going to do the full version, preparing for child's pose, balasana, big breath. Now, if your arms are hanging down, just like gravity pulling down, this is such a nice stretch for your spine, your neck, your shoulders. You just feel it, just like gravity, like I said, pulling you down. And this is our child's pose, Balasana. So this is the time where I want you just to really thank yourself. You know, for taking the time to be on your chair, just to relax, to breathe, just to maybe turn all the noises off for a little while. Part of your self-care and your self-soothing. I always remember to focus on the breathing and how your body moves. However your body moves, it doesn't matter, all right? Dedicate this time to yourself. You're so worth it. It's all about you, as it should be, all right? On the exhale, come up nice and slow. Now let's get those legs together. Finally, sit back in your chair. Let's prepare for our closing savasana. Meditation, relaxation, reflection time, however you choose to bring this into your practice today. Now I want you to sit back in your chair. Now you can relax. To make yourself comfortable, you can let your legs, you can, you know, put your legs out, let your arms hang down, you can bow your head. 
I want you to find a place in your chair where you can literally just melt into your chair. Completely relaxed and calm. The breath is flowing. Just relax and breathe. Let your mind, your body, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells, bringing your own energy to its appropriate frequency. Slowly bring yourself back into the space, back into the room. Bring life back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Now I'd like you to bring yourself back to your seated, a straight seated position. All right, so straighten that spine out. Bring your hands together. Let's rather vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands on your heart center. Close your eyes. Let's take a nice big breath together to tune in. Inhale. Om. Shanti, 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 Sadna. Shanti, Shanti, peace, peace, may love and light be with you always. Namaste. All right. Yay, all done. Wonderful. Um, this is a great little class. You know, it's only 30 minutes, but um, this chair yoga is for anybody. All right, whatever condition you're in, especially if you're sitting around a lot, you know, even when you're watching TV, whatever you're doing, do a few stretches. It does you good, all right? Helps clear your mind, lower your stress, and release some of that tension. Thank you again for joining me. It's always my absolute pleasure. I feel just as good as you do after this, all right? So my name is Susan, and um, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. So have a wonderful day, and keep moving. All right, bye.